Oh, yeah. Nice to see, see you. Yeah. Money won is twice as sweet as money earned. So I'll say goodbye now. And money won from a celebrity is even sweeter. I am on the verge of crying. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Let's we'll see if you can do it. Oh. In the Celebrity Kong Games. This week, the hustlers are paying a visit to the Absolute Radio Studios in central London. They're here to take on Sony Award-winning breakfast show host Christian O'Connell. Hello. Hi. They meet him in the radio station bar after his show, planning to relieve him of some of his hard-earned showbiz wages. You ever been conned? Um, yes, I've been married for 10 years, so every day. Oh. But you never had, like, uh, someone try and sell you speakers out of a white van or... You know, oh, yeah, yeah, kind of I stuff. bought a, a stereo at a car boot sale. How was that? Never get an electrical item at a car boot sale. Where did you yeah. take it back? Back to a field. It's gone. I paid £25 for it, got it home, and it was just full of sand in the back. <laughs> You're kidding. It was the most expensive sand you could ever buy. £25 yeah, yeah. Of sand. sand. Yeah. Mm. Time for Alex to throw down the challenge. So, now, look, we've got you down here for a serious reason. Uh, it's all for ten pounds. That's so the money. Let's see the money. We got the money, sweetheart. Even the uh, money. There you go. Okay. Give the money to Jess, actually, because she, she's she's our, she, Jess she always gets the money. Yeah. She always gets the money. So what what we've got here is uh, just some random bits that we got from around the office. We found some string, got some matches, apple. And it's a very simple challenge. Um, you have to lift this table without touching it. Now there are a few rules. Um, you can't put anything underneath it to help you lift it. Mm -hmm. And one of these mugs, whichever one you want, has to remain on the table. That's to make sure you don't tip it over or anything. The rest okay. of the stuff can go. The rest of the stuff can go. You can use it. I mean, I can tell you that, you know, you need some of the stuff that's on the table in order to do this. I mean, I saw something similar to this when I used to watch MacGyver. Oh, so... no, we've got a MacGyver oh, watching. Yeah. Oh, we're busted. <laughs> Pick yeah, the wrong guy oh, for this, no. trust me. Why have you given me such a difficult one? Well, where's the pee in the cup? That's what I was hoping for. That's harder. It seems like an impossible task. But Christian isn't ready to throw in the towel. Any ideas? I mean... Can I use the string and just uh, make, like, a cat's cradle and suspend that? Yeah, only you can't attach or put anything underneath the table. I can't put anything underneath it? No. Well, how am I supposed to lift it? Could I turn the table upside down and but attach something? No, because remember, you can't top. touch the table. And the mug has to be on the top. Has to stay there. Could I give use... you the apple and you do it? You lift the table and you get this apple as a reward. You're not allowed to delegate it, you have to do it yourself. Oh, crikey. That's, that's actually pretty good. That's yeah, do you like that? Idea. Yeah? Could I create a <laughs> make a hot air balloon? Um, <laughs> what are the matches here for? Any time you want to give up, by the way, and just kiss goodbye to that tenor. No, yeah, because then know. I could see you're all smugly looking at me like, there's no <laughs> yeah. way, there's no way this thick breakfast show DJ's going to be able to do it. I don't want to prove you guys right. <laughs> yeah. I am on the verge of crying. So I've got to use devil's magic now. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah, see, I'm on to you. <laughs> uh, I've got no idea. Do you want me to show you? Yes, go on then. He's finally run out of ideas, and the table hasn't moved an inch. You'll like this, because you're... Over to the professional. Okay. So, I'm going to use pretty much everything that's on the table. I'm going to use the apple by taking it off the table, and therefore reducing the weight, so I'm using it. Um, no same goes with the paper clips. Sorry. The glue's gone, there's no need for it. This... Too heavy, can't use it. Oh, nothing, that's not fair, come on! What I am going to use is... I'll show you. I'm going to wet these napkins. <laughs> the trick seems to involve some soggy napkins. Christian is still baffled. OK, Paul, can I ruin your tea? Mm. Lovely. Any idea? No. Good. Ready? Lifting the table. Come on. Without touching it, and the mug staying on the table. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. That is a fantastic trick. That's oh! <laughs> there you go. I'm lifting. genuinely impressed. That was brilliant. So Alex wet the napkins to form an airtight seal against the table, and the matches burnt up all the oxygen in the cup creating a strong enough vacuum to take the weight of the table. That's another celebrity tenor for the Hustlers' bank account. Hello. Hello. Hi. The Hustlers have come to a former bank vault to take on the ex-Commonwealth swimming champion, 
who led Team GB out at the Beijing Olympics. The Man Mountain, Mark Foster. Nervous about today? No. Not for today? Yeah. Interested, intrigued. OK, standard yeah. question we ask everyone, are you competitive? Yes. So you're going to make a real effort? Yes. OK. Yeah. Lead the way. So Mark's definitely up for the challenge. Welcome to the vault. It's time for Paul to explain what the hostlers have in store. See, I asked if you were bricking it. Oh, <laughs> this is real BBC gold. It's, uh, <laughs> as you can see, not quite a not quite a real thing, but there's a bit of weight in there. Definitely a bit of weight. About the same weight of an average brick. Yeah. Yep. This is kind of one of those physical and mental challenges. Mm -hmm. You have to pick up all five bricks. Okay. Simultaneously with one hand. Okay. Ten pounds? Ten pounds. Used to being in at the deep end, Mark accepts the ten pound bet. Used pounds. Yeah. You might as well say goodbye now. Very used. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Remember, I have to do it or you so get your tenner back. OK. So there is a way of doing it. You want yeah. to show me at the end? Uh, yeah. OK. It's game on. Can he lift all five bricks with just one hand? Wow. Not like that. You're getting ready to catch that one. <laughs> I'm getting ready to catch these. Yeah. They were quite heavy, actually. Oh, my God. It's looking good. Have the hostlers met their match? Be the first person to do it without them falling like that. Yeah, yeah, that other hand's coming in here. Oh, nice. yeah. Class one. Okay. We've we'll been trying it. Class one, we've got that. He goes again. This man doesn't know when he's beat him. Is piling them high the answer? No. no. <laughs> that, that could have cost you dear there, actually. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Are we giving up? Come on, focus. Finally, he admits defeat. But to win the bet, Paul needs to succeed when Mark has failed. For £10. Yeah, go on. All right, here we go. Can he do it? Mm -hmm. and That's it. And you lift them all up like that. Paul makes it look easy. <laughs> you want to hit someone? <laughs> <laughs> and that's because, once you know how, it is. Paul carefully stacked the five bricks so that there was an opening down the middle. He could then reach down and use the one on the bottom as a handle to lift the whole stack off the table. So Mark loses his tenor. Uh, this week, the Hustlers are going to challenge Heart DJ and former I'm a Celebrity star, Toby Anstis. Now, have you ever been uh, scammed or hustled? No. Never? I don't think I've ever been hustled, no, never oh, scammed. Not, not that you know of, obviously. No, no, this, this is probably a first, yeah. You're like virgin territory for a scammer, then. Break right. me and gently, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I think we do. Oh, we'll leave you two alone. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, we, we do have a challenge for you, and it's kind of like a bar bet, except you wouldn't really do it at the bar, more like a kitchen. Two beautiful non There you go, from the Real Hustle uh, kitchen collection. <laughs> <laughs> Ten pound is required, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Do you have ten pounds on? Yeah. I have the dosh. Oh, oh, fantastic. The dosh goes to the keeper, and the keeper is always dressed. Thank you. Yep, well, you know, we'll see. So here's the challenge. All you have to do, you have to place one frying pan onto the other, and you have to do it in such a way that by holding onto just one of the handles, you can turn it around like this, and the other won't fall out. OK? Right. That sounds almost impossible, but Toby's going to give it a go. Right. <clears throat> right, is this doable? It is doable. Oh, yeah, totally. The thing is, you just think, I bet everybody's already seen it at home, and you're like, what a wally. I can't believe, <laughs> I can't believe Toby's not seen that. I'm He's so thick. Think He's that. so <laughs> thick. Well, I can't believe it. I'll bet they haven't seen this. If I toss it... If you, I... Toby throws some ideas at the problem to see what will stick. Or, in this case, non-stick. Can I go from hand to hand, quick? No, you've got to hold it on just one hand. One hand or one hand. hand. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just stand there. You know it's going to yeah, go. Yeah, we were like. Stop <laughs> pondering like that. 
you know he's gonna fall out. I just want to hear the big clap. Oh, that might work. Oh no, it didn't. Oh, no. What a surprise. <laughs> there you go. If there's a way of doing this, Toby's determined to find it. What about if? <laughs> He's not having much luck so far. What about if I do? I'm moving away. Yeah, now. I do. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's interesting, but it didn't stay. It did detach at one what? point. What? Close, but that's cheating. So why doesn't that count? Because why you have I get to turn it over back? so that it stays inside for a split second. Oh, but that was like separate. literally. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I don't think I'm going to get it. So would you give up? I'm really frustrated, yeah. you know. But I don't think I'm going to get it. Toby can't stand the heat, so he's going to have to get out of the kitchen. Time now for Paul to demonstrate how it's done. Nothing involved but two frying pans. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And he's not bending the rules. What? What? He's bending the frying pans instead. Yes, I'll, I'll hold yeah, yeah. No way! What? Would you like hell? to put that one in there? Let's uh, give that a little start. Put <laughs> <laughs> that in there. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe put these Obviously, there. you know, we do recommend you try this at home with your own pans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is why it's called the real hustle range. Uh, <laughs> that is. <laughs> that is off on you. Yeah, well Come done, bud. Well done. See, of course, I never thought to ask at the start, do you mind if I break the bloody thing? <laughs> <laughs> what Toby didn't know was that these are some of the cheapest frying pans money can buy. Using a touch of brute strength, Paul simply rolled both pans up, allowing him to wrap one inside the other. He was then able to turn both pans over, holding just one handle. Winning himself a celebrity tenor in the process. This week, the hustlers have come to this exclusive Riverside restaurant to do battle with Celebrity Fame Academy contestant and one show reporter, Angelica Bell. Uh, are you hungry? You better a little be bit hungry. Peckish. Yeah. Well, they say when you're in, you know, polite company that one shouldn't You're not gobble. in polite company. You're not one shouldn't, one shouldn't you gobble, don't. one should nibble. Oh. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> really? yeah. Go for the gobbling. We'll yeah. Yeah. We will. <laughs> But before getting down to business, they decide it would be rude not to order some lunch. The food here doesn't come cheap. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Nor does the champagne. I think we could do with a winning. And as for dessert... I'll have four of them. For 75 dabs, it's really good. Four of those. Unusually, the hustlers seem in the mood for splashing the cash. Yeah, they're paying. Well, yeah. How much was it again? 75 pounds. Each. Each. Oh. That's right. These fancy desserts, which come with three aged cognacs, cost an eye watering £75 a pop. Uh, you eat and you drink. You eat and you and drink. drink. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh my god, mm. this is. Mm. Mm. Caramelized hazelnut. Mm. Mm. It's a good, exceptional. Mm. This is like amazing. It's a very, very, very good. <laughs> mm. Should we get the bill? Yeah, we should. Can we have the. Um... This is going to be fun. She's right, but not for whoever has to pay it. Thank you very much. Yeah. OK. Ouch. Can't be that bad. Let's see. Oh, my God. Yes. That's a lot for four people. <laughs> what do you think? £767.13. and 13 pence. 767 So how are we going to do this? Hmm. Okay, well, pass me the bill. Time to serve up Angelica's challenge. I've got a proposition for you. Go on. OK. I'm going to pass you the bill. I want you to hand the bill to whoever you want to pay the bill. Does that sound fair? OK. OK. And that's it. And we leave. That's it. Um, there are a couple of rules um, I want to show you. I want you to stand up. I'm going to place the bill on your feet, just like that. Keeping your feet together, heels on the floor if you're wearing heels. I want you to bend over forward, pick the bill up, with both hands and then pass it to either Paul, Alex, myself, or keep it. Does that sound fair? Mm-hmm. Yeah? So, in order for someone else to pick up the bill, all Angelica needs to do is pick it up herself first from her feet 
and hand it to them. But the hustlers always have a trick up their sleeves, as she's about to find out. Okay, you need to stand next to me, so I want you to stand here because the light's really good with your heels right against the glass. No, I did have feet together. Okay. Okay. You need to bend over forward. Use both hands, pick up the bill. The challenge is on. Ooh. Can I move my feet? Nope. Nope. Feet flat on the floor, can't move your heels. Bend over forward, pick up with both hands. Bend over forward. Turns out, this is much harder up against a window than standing in the middle of the room. I don't, can't, can't bend, I can't bend feet. my feet. No, you just need to reach over forward and get it. Is this doable? We certainly hope not. <laughs> you know what, I don't think you're going to get it. Oh, well, we're going we're gonna to wait. Do you know what I've realised? I should have drank all that drink because this would have made no difference if I was drunk. <laughs> I'm so stupid! <laughs> and I might have to pay for this as well and I haven't drunk anything. You know what, I come back to, to the table. She didn't stand a chance because this con is all about balance. When Jess picked up the bill, it looked easy. That's because when she bent her upper half forwards, her bottom half could shift backwards to keep her balanced. But standing against the window, Angelica couldn't shift her weight back, which meant it was physically impossible to bend forwards and pick up the bill without falling flat on her face. We'll call it a ten and we're even. Unless you would and, like to pay the bill. And in fact, so another celebrity hands over a tenner. But the hustlers were kind enough to pick up the hefty lunch bill. At least that's what they told Angelica on their way out. Sorry, madam. The gentleman said you're going to pay the bill. Oh, did they? Yes. 